Dr. Mohamed Salim, I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist based at Aga Khan Hospital, Mombasa. Uh, today we're happy that we have done uh, the first case of 3D mapping system guided ablation, CATO-3 machine, uh, that is the first in the region. Uh, we are happy because uh, previously we did not have this facility to be able to treat uh, uh, complex arrhythmia cases uh, or heart rhythms that are coming from very sensitive areas uh, that would need a very uh, delicate and accurate system like the one we have of less than one millimeter accuracy. Usually they're done with radiation, uh, X-ray radiation fluoroscopy, but with this you're able to do the manipulation of the catheters without using radiation. So uh, like the case we have done today has used very minimum radiation of 0.3 minutes. Uh, which is unusual for uh, regular uh, cases for electrophysiology. So for this case, we were able to create a, a 3D reconstruction of uh, the chamber of the heart, locate the source of the arrhythmia of the heart rhythm problem, and then burn it with the radio frequency energy and observe if they will have any uh, problems after that. Uh, it took around three, two hours to, to do the procedure and uh, less than a minute of radiation. Uh, and radio frequency energy of around two minutes. For this uh, kind of procedures, we usually go through the groin, a vein in the groin called femoral vein. We uh, send the catheters that are used for this procedure through the femoral vein, through the stomach and up to the heart. When it gets to the heart, we put those catheters touching the walls of the chambers of the heart and measure the signals compared to the patient's ECG. With those, we usually, for this procedure, we have measured around a thousand points comparative to the ECGs and we found the source where it is uh, as you can see the picture it's in red we go to the red point and then take a radio frequency catheter at that point touches it and burns the abnormal cells that cause these uh, uh, heart rhythm disorders uh, usually it can be around one to two minutes burn uh, after that we observe for around 30 minutes redo the tests that showed us where the problem is and if there is no problem anymore, well, that's when we stop and end the procedure. What kind of cases mainly need this are those uh, who have uh, abnormal rhythms from either the upper chamber of the heart or the lower chamber of the heart that cause atrial heart rhythm problems or ventricular heart rhythm problems. And mainly those who feel having abnormal heartbeats, palpitations, some even blackout and faint, uh, or they're breathless when they have these abnormal beats. So, when you have these beats and you get it on the ECG, we can use that as a ticket to come for this procedure and try to locate the source and burn to heal. Usually after these procedures, like the patient you have will not need to be on any uh, drugs for life. If it's a cure, then it's a cure forever. Currently, uh, we are lucky to have this machine and uh, for now it's the only center out of South Africa in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa.